This brief video will illustrate the ease of installation and finish quality of ARC SLE self-leveling epoxy when applied as a slip resistant system on a production floor exposed to graphite powder and carbon black. The exposed and uncoated concrete surfaces were being repeatedly contaminated, resulting in recurring slip hazards for workers. Prior to the application of ARC SLE, the floors were prepared by surface scarification and grinding to a CSP3 finish according to ICRI standards using diamond grinder wheels with vacuum shroud to prevent dust escaping into general areas of plant. The floors were then vacuumed to remove any residual dust. Once the concrete had been prepared, the surfaces were tested to ASTM F3191, standard practice for field determination of substrate water absorption, porosity, for substrates to receive resilient flooring to verify any contaminant that might hinder adhesion had been removed. ARC 797 was applied at 7 to 10 mils wet film thickness as a primer to seal the surface. It is important to note that a primer is not required for use with ARC SLE. However, a primer may be used depending on the porosity of the concrete. The following day, after the 797 had cured to full mechanical cure, the surface was power sanded and then vacuumed to remove residual dust residue. ARC SLE was mixed and applied via the use of a notched squeegee to a wet film thickness of 20 to 30 mils. While still wet, a roller was used to back roll the epoxy coating. The following day, the ARC SLE surface was power sanded and then vacuumed to remove residual dust residue. This was done to prepare the surface for a second coat of ARC SLE. ARC SLE was mixed and applied via the use of a notched squeegee to a wet film thickness of 20 to 30 mils. While still wet, a roller was used to back roll the epoxy coating. Then a broadcast to rejection of ARC BA1, 30 to 50 mesh silica sand, was then cast into the still wet surface of ARC SLE to create a non-slip surface. The following day, the excess BA1 was then swept off and the surface was vacuumed and a 10 to 15 mil sealer coat of SLE was tightly rolled onto surface to encapsulate the surface aggregate to seal the non-slip into film and to aid in future floor cleaning. 24 hours later, the floor was fully cured and equipment was moved back into position to allow production to resume. The self-leveling features of SLE as well as the ease of mixing allow for fast and easy applications. ARC SLE can be applied as three different systems. One, a roller or squeegee applied 15 to 20 mil epoxy sealer for traffic striping. Two, a notched squeegee or pin rake applied self-leveling coat at 50 to 120 mils. Three, a slip resistant traffic coat comprised of a 20 to 30 mil squeegee applied coat into which a broadcast, the BA1, 30 to 50 mesh silica sand, which can be top coat sealed to aid in floor cleaning. This third version is what was applied. ARC SLE is available in four colors, light gray, RAL 7035, medium gray, RAL 7042, safety yellow, RAL 1023, and traffic red, RAL 3020. To learn more, contact your Chesterton specialist or area manager 